Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports for today's preview as the Bulls travel to Cape Town take on the Western Province at Newlands. And a big a big opportunity for the for the for the province to try and put things right after the Stormers suffered a huge defeat at Loftus where the Bulls has completely outclassed them. And now an opportunity to try and put that record straight. They are playing a lot better, they are seen to be finding form. And it, 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 there are a couple of big additions back in the side. It's a team that is stacked with really good players. And yeah, I mean, with the Bulls having won the Super Rugby unlocked, the next thing for them is to go on and try and push for a Curry Cup victory. For the Stormers, they failed when, the, well, not failed necessarily because they had the, they had the game cancelled. But I mean, I think they would probably would have admittedly would have liked to have done better in the Super Rugby unlocked campaign as a whole and didn't. And Sia Khaleesi, before the, game, before the tournament even started, spoke about the fact that they needed to try and start doing better, start winning trophies. And now this is another opportunity for them to go and do just that. Before we look at the teams themselves, please do subscribe. Bottom right-hand corner there, smash like. We will be doing a live watch-along of the match tonight. So put the game on the TV and then come and stream, uh, come hang out in the channel. We have a chat about the game as we watch it, talk about some key battles, just discuss some of the general things and just have a little bit of fun, really. It should be a really, really good game and I'm very excited about it. So... You know, come hang out and, and, let's, and let's discuss it and chat about rugby in, in SA. You know, so much rugby going on over the weekend and the various things. So lots to chat about. So, yeah, so please make sure you earmark that. Come visit the channel later today. But in terms of the teams for this weekend, we'll start with the Bulls side. And it's a largely unchanged side. The big absentee is still no more next day, which means Chris Smith will start. Wait for me, is still there. Honor Boerta, Marcus Van Staden. What a loose trio that is. The back line's looking really good. Stephen Hans was the top scorer of Super Rugby Unlocked. So let's hope, um, well, he'll hope, be hoping that he can try and um, can, uh, bring that form into the Curry Cup and maybe even try and go and become the, the top scorer in the Curry Cup as well. Um, apart from that, I think Ruan Nakia is another one who's playing very, very nice rugby and will hopefully try and continue playing that. David Creel, nice youngster to watch here. Travis Ishmael, somebody I've been very impressed with um, playing some really good rugby and continuously playing, um, starting to get better and better. So... Um, you know, it'll be it's good to see that he is playing very well. And then off the bench, so much, so much impact. You know, in the likes of Sintum and Jay-Z, Nizam Carr, Marcel van der Merwe, that's a big name to come off the bench. Um, Ambrose Papier is a really good player to come off the bench. Marco Janssen, if you're a nice sort of dynamic player. So, the Bulls, have, I've, I mean, it's the, we know what the Bulls are about. We know it's a good side. They know it's a sign that's a lot of confidence. And they will try and take that down to Newlands and try and impose their game on the Stormers. And Ivan van Zell is going to play a big part of that. And I've been very impressed with how he sort of Managed to rework his game ability, a bit more sort of free flowing and not necessarily as uh, maybe conservative as he's been previously, playing some top, top rugby. And I've been very impressed with what I've seen from him so far. In terms of the Stormers, there are two big names back in that side. And the big one there is Sia Khaleesi returns and will captain the side. And another big name is Sia Bella Sanatla is back in the fall. So, so much pace between him, Angela, Angela David, Sanatla, and Hori Kalant. There is so much pace in those outside backs. For the Western Province. The big thing is the pack's going to have to pitch up. Bongi Manambi comes back in. Um, Stephen Kitts of France, Mohoba, you all know what that's all about. Um, Salomon Murat's been very good. J.D. Shikalim playing very good rugby. That pack needs to try and take on the Bulls head on. You know, it's a very big Bulls pack. And the Western Province are going to have to front it up front to allow what for me is probably the better of the back lines to try and really have a go. And Damien Villains the other day had a very good game of fly half and a much more well rounded game, um, which is more sort of expected of fly halves. So I think that was good to see from him. And I think that there's almost a little bit of pressure now in that, you know, he's he, he shown that he can do it. Now he needs to keep doing it because, you know, I mean, Job Dobson came out and said he's proving the haters wrong. But one game does not make it the man. So he needs to try and prove that he can be consistently good at number 10. Damien Willemser will, I'm sorry, Herschel Yankees will be someone that the Bulls will need to monitor. So clearly, you know, you don't want to give him any, any space, any space. Give him half a gap. He is away. Juan Augustus is also coming into form. And then they've got the likes of Iyaka Kutsia, potentially Ruan um, you know, uh, Chris Wenzel, some, some good players coming off the bench in the latter stages as well. So it should be a very, very game, a difficult game to predict. I'm going to go, I'm going to go with Western Province, actually. I, I'm, I'm, and it's more because I would like to see some more competition within the, within the, within the, within the tournament. So I'm going to go Province by five. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's my prediction. I think it's going to be quite a close game. I'm hoping it's going to be quite a close game. I hope it's going to be quite a nice free-flowing game and, and lots of exciting rugby. We will be doing a live watch along, so we're going to be watching it live. So come, do come and hang out with me um, on the, the channel later. So let me know what you think is going to happen in the game in the comments below. Do smash a like as well as subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you very, very soon. And hopefully we'll see you tonight for the watch along.
Thank you very much.